now for our weekly collective. All right, I had already drawn the cards for us. And today I used a beautiful lavender sweet grass because our nervous system with all these downloads and getting rid of the stuff and burning off and everything, we really need to just kind of keep things relaxed and calm around us. That That's the thing, stay grounded, stay simple, start recreating those roots, start recreating them. They're not going to happen by themselves. They don't just magically appear in your life. You can't just stand up and say, well, I want to be a community and nobody cares. Well, then get out there and plant the seeds, start the tree so that the roots can spread. Trees don't just appear. They need the seed, just like everything else needs the seed to start. We've started as a seed. <laughs> everything starts as a seed. So for our beautiful collective reading this week, the first one we got was the Ten of Fire. So you see what I mean about everything burning off? The Ten of Fire. Okay, this one is about oppression. So this is an illusion. You see, as we're coming into the setting sun, the dark. Okay, so this is the illusion. We, they have us in an illusion that we're trapped. That you know, look, see, look, look at all these, look at all these sticks and the way they're crisscrossed and everything. It's the illusion that oh, we're stuck in this nightmare. We're not. Okay, the oppression we create ourselves. So it's time now. It's time to let it go. Okay. Let go of that oppression. Let go of that feeling that you're not in control because you are. You need to start creating what you want. Okay. You've got to be the change you want to see. Just like the young kids are learning. Like how many of the young ones now are coming up with such amazing things during this, you know, the tiny ones, like the seven year olds, eight year olds, nine year olds, 10 year olds. They're coming up with such beautiful projects and hobbies and things and all to help the community. Again, Last week, we had our great mother bear, a great white bear protecting the cave. We have the queen of stones, which again is the bear. So this is why they're saying, please, please see, we're coming from the dark. We're coming out of the dark into the beautiful light. So protect your energy, guys. Please protect your energy. All right. Right now, we are under super download energy, solar pulses, solar flares. Um, the Palladians are here helping us. We, we've all got Palladians. We've got guides. We've got ancestors, grandmothers, grandfathers. They're all working with us to help protect us as we're crossing into the light here. See, so we're going out into the beautiful light, into the, into the sun. So please remember that. Protect your energy, okay? This is not the time to be giving it out to everybody. This is the time to be growing your energy, putting that seed in yourself, the seed of confidence, the seed of trust. I trust myself. I know what I'm doing. I have the confidence to do it, no matter what's been said before. These are the seeds we're planting. These are the seeds of truth. Once we can do this, we're then, see, as I was telling you, we're dealing with the Palladians and the hidden realms right now. So this is about creating a new awareness. This is what this new planting of the seeds is. We're creating a new awareness. Okay, look at all our beautiful guides. Look at our Palladians. Look at all our people here helping us. You know, we're surrounded. And you see, there's that blue light coming into the purple light. This is what I mean. In with the blue. Out with the purple. So as you're blowing all this negative out and you're releasing it all, you're healing it. You're healing it. We're not just releasing it to the universe now because the universe is fighting alongside us. So now we're releasing it with healing. Release it with healing so that it really heals and stops. And once we do all this, be prepared because come June, by about mid-June, third week of June, this is where all this beautiful love, compassion, growing, seeding, you know, creating is going to pay off big time because that's when we receive, guys. This is our time of receiving, okay? And receiving isn't about the money. It isn't about the physical things. It isn't about the clothes, the car, the house, the guitar, the whatever. Receiving is receive your blessings. Be ready, join in, be a part of the energy. Even if you don't have gifts, even if you think you don't have gifts, you do. Just the idea that you took 10 minutes a day, that's all you need, 10 minutes a day. You stepped outside, 
you saw a tree, a bird, a flower, a butterfly, dragonfly, uh, a, a, a little raccoon, a little squirrel, whatever. And it made you smile. Hold on to that smile. Feel that smile. Be a part of that smile and share that smile. This is what they're asking us to do. This is what we're receiving. We're receiving all these beautiful gifts from our energy sources, from our guides and our, our, our protectors and, and uh, our guardians and our gatekeepers and all the others. We're receiving it. So be open to receive it. You have to be open. They cannot force this on you. See, this is another thing. We have free will. So you choose. You're either going to choose to stay in the oppression or you're going to choose to be in the receiving end of this beautiful energy. The choice is yours. So now is the time to make the choice. Do we get out of this and into this? Or do we stay here and keep feeling like we have no control over anything? Now's your chance. Control your world, create your community, grow your roots. <coughs> <coughs> yes, grow the roots, grow the roots. <coughs> <coughs> they can't say that enough right now. <laughs> I'm sitting with the... <laughs> I've done everything to create the roots here. <laughs> so because we're in such a special energy right now, such a phenomenal energy and such a phenomenal space, I decided to do something that I haven't done in a little while. I'm bringing out the Earth Warriors. All right? So just to help everybody... I picked an earth, I picked, I shuffled all our beautiful cards here and we got an earth warrior and our earth warrior is Ling Ah, okay, which is, whoops, where's my glasses, there we go, which is what must be, shall be. So you see, even our guardians are telling us, trust in the process, trust yourself. Trust what you're feeling right now. It is the truth, okay? If you feel sad when things happen in the world, you're connected. If you can feel the pain of your best friend or your mom or your dad and they're not even close to you, you're connected, okay? If it makes you sad and it brings a tear to your eye when we see abused animals, abused kids, abused, you're connected to that compassion, okay? You are connected to that compassion. So stay in that connection. Stay in that beautiful energy, okay? Protect that beautiful world of ours as we bring the light in. Protect, protect, protect this beautiful energy of awareness, okay? And by doing this, we are bringing in the beautiful gifts of receiving all this beautiful knowledge, all these beautiful, you know, all the uh, all this beautiful upgrades and all this beautiful new. And it's it's so much easier to connect now, so much easier. It, it's it's the veil. There is no more veil. They're here, right here. So, oh, and Arlena, Arlene A card is a number seven. Okay, so for those who like the numbers, we started with a 10. We have the queen, which is a 12. We have 20, and we have 27. So if those numbers resonate with you, great. If there's something that kind of got you a little excited, use them in your lottery. <laughs> I can't guarantee you'll win, but hey, trust the process. <laughs> <laughs> Trust the process. So let's see who our beautiful warrior is and how they're working with us for the next few weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, where did you go, my beauty? Where did you go? Da, da, da. Oh, there we go. Okay, I found her. There we are. All right. So what must be shall be. You have beautiful dreams and inspired bold and inspired bold ambitions. You are guided to believe that they are the natural expression of your soul, something that is meant to be. Life will support you in the expression of those dreams and ambitions. See, confirming, 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 confirming our discussion about the energy, confirming the things we should be doing right now, confirming the cards we got. So this is what I mean. I, I love doing the cards because they're just so to the point and so honest. And, and they're here, you know. So as we're going, okay. So you are guided to believe that, there are that they are natural expressions of your soul, something that's meant to be. 
Life will support you in the expression of these dreams and ambitions, even in the moments where it seems to be a struggle rather than a support that you are experiencing. The process for transformation into full maturity involves learning how to grow through light and through darkness back to the light again. You will always find your way back to the light. Have faith in yourself and what must be. Dedicate yourself to what you love without hesitation. So in the reading, it's telling us if you're experiencing loss, change, or loss of faith, some things happen that seem to be working against us. This is only, it is only later that we should, that they show themselves to have been a valuable way in which we acquired a greater faith, greater courage, greater determination that were necessary to the fulfillment of our purpose. Now that your destiny is unfolding, you are moving through circumstances that are ultimately going to help you become your soul in fullness and splendor. Keep going. Everything's happening in your life is helping you to fulfill your divine potential. Know that the darkness will give way to the light. Again, confirmation, 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 confirmation. All right. So just as life and death are natural, so too is it to grow. It is natural for the caterpillar to become the butterfly. It is extraordinary to the point of being almost unbelievable, if we were to really think about it, but natural nonetheless. It is natural for the bones of the sacred cow to return to the earth, to give her minerals, which in turn support new life. So it is meant to be that with human life, there is loss that becomes part of what allows for something new to be vitalized. Again, burning off all this little stuff that's left over so that we can receive all this new, beautiful energy coming in. So uh, you are here to bring certain dreams to life in this world. They are, they are meant to be healing dreams for a new world because that is your nature, your innate soul way. Just like the seemingly impossible journey of the butterfly, with sacred endings that support new beginnings. You, you too are moving through the cycle of life. Sometimes this can be confronting. Don't give up to old ways or old identities. They can seem frightening to the mind. Yet it is inspiring and exciting for the soul that yearns to blossom into fullness and cannot thrive when it is held back in fear. You may forget this momentarily and turn back from where you were headed out of confusion or concern. It may seem as though you've been asked to give up too much to secure your goal. You're, you, may wonder, you may wonder if it's foolish imagination rather than genuine soul purpose that is driving you forward. If you are a visionary with ideas that are not yet widely understood, but will help push humanity towards the new world, you may struggle more than most. So for those of us that are ultra sensitive, that are connected, that are empaths, um, you know, so on. We're really feeling it right now. And this is what I'm telling you. Do not let it bring you down. Don't stay attached to it. Let it go. Just acknowledge it. Understand why and go, please. Gone. Okay. It needs to move so we can create this new. Uh, sometimes things can be for. Oh, yes. Here we go. Sometimes things can be. It is yet inspiring and exciting for the soul that yearns to blossom into fullness and cannot thrive when it's being held back in fear. You may forget this momentarily and turn back from where you were headed out with confusion or concern. It may seem as though you're being asked to give up too much to secure your goal. You may wonder if it is foolish imagination rather than, rather than genuine purpose that is driving you forward. You are a visionary with ideas that are, no, mo okay, that are not understood, and of course, this is going to affect us the most. In this case, you are asked to take leaps of faith and endure the ending inherent of the evolution whilst waiting for the sign to, of new life. You will have this asked of you because it is necessary for the, process, for the pro process of creation. And most importantly, you have to have enough faith in your soul to handle it, to have faith in your own purpose when it may seem sometimes like you're fighting a losing battle, taking a lot of heart. A battle a take, that takes out a lot of heart. Great Spirit knows what you're up to, and it wants to remind you that you are not being foolish. You are following your destiny.
great spirit wants you to accept this, that it can help you. That's what your purpose is meant to be. And as you keep uh, to your course, success will come. Allow the inner force that compels you forward to have its way. Do not fear the sometimes radical changes that take place as you evoke your new destiny. Any losses or endings along the way, uh, any, where was it? Any losses or endings along the way are essential for your fulfillment. Let your trust in life's good, well, and generous support of you be unconditional. No, you shall thrive. So they have a little prayer here you can say if you like. Um, if you want to close your eyes for a second, I'll read the little prayer so you can all bring in the energy and I'll share it with you. I call upon the wild grace of the sacred fem feminine and give gratitude for our wise and loving assistance in my life. I accept your blessings to fulfill myself. I trust that you will show me the signs and impress upon me the guidance that I need so as to feel reassured, focused, and committed. Help me and all beings fulfill the plan that the Great Spirit intended for us and has placed in our hearts. Only the goodness of our wisdom prevails and every darkness leads me into a greater light. So it is, so be it, as above, so below. There you go, my friends. Love from our beautiful spirits. So hang in there. We're, this is the time to create. This is not the time to give up or walk away. This is the time to plant those seeds, grow that tree, create your roots, be the community, be the change you want. You are in control. You have the choice. 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 And being A is working with you. We have called her in. We have called on the great mothers and everyone else. I share the energy with you. Take it. Hold it in your heart space. Deep breath in. Blue energy. Deep breath out. Purple energy. Plant those seeds. Share that light and shine no matter how dark you think it is. Have a great week, everybody. We love you. Love and light blessings from Grandmother Michelle, Mother Earth, Grandmother Universe, and all the beautiful stars.